in this video we are going to look at git ingest so git ingest is a tool that converts git repositories so the repositories which are available on github into text that is easy for llm to understand you know if you specify a github repository url uh, or a directory of source code you know, that you are developing locally it will analyze the file and directory structure and output it in a text format so that llm can understand probably if you want to build you know code discovery kind of a tool top of your github repositories or you want to build rack kind of a system or a chatbot kind of a stuff you know you need to first prepare the data so llm can understand that right now it also tells you uh, statistical information such as file size and number of tokens which is very useful for you know helping llm to understand the contents of the code so basically providing more contextuality right so it will have more context now there are two ways you can set up git ingest this is how it looks like if you look at on my screen here now you can set this up via docker or you can also do it through you know python package manager so you can do it through pip as well right that's that's how it looks like now we'll try it out with docker first let me do that so what i'm going to do is open my terminal so let's open the terminal okay and i have docker already installed if you don't have docker installed then you need to install docker the first thing that i'm going to do is clone this repository so let me just clone this repository here the git ingest so i'll just come here copy this and you know i'll just paste it says git clone and the repository uh, that we have it says cloning into git ingest once that clones it you just go, uh, just do cd so i'm just going to do cd git ingest so let me just do that once i do it you can find out let's do an ls you can find out the bunch of files folders i'm going to just do uh green okay now let's build the or probably if you want to see what's inside the code let's open that in vs code here now if you open that cloned folder in vs code or any other ide you will find out uh you know a docker file now if you look at here the docker file you know it uses python 3.12 the slim version of python you know as the uh, you can see that it says build stays you have it's copying the requirement all the requirements from requirements txt it, it installs some uh, uh linux base or like you know installing python 3 dev upgrading the pip installing all the uh dependencies you know it has uh set the port blah 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 and then runs that and also change the uh gives the access you know if that's restricted so let's first build the docker image here you know, so i'm going to do is docker build this is how you build it and then you just do git ingest and now using this command what i'm doing build hyphen t and then you give the name of the image that you want to create you know uh, using this docker file that we have and dot means that this docker file is in the same repository where i am running this uh, command right now if you have your docker file somewhere else you have to give the path of that uh, location or the directory that you have now this will take a bit of time so what i'm going to do pause the video and come back when this is done all right you can see the image has been successfully you know built you can see it says uh, naming to docker blah 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 and this is where this is where your image is you can just do docker images to find out you know if you do docker ps it will show all the running containers i have no running containers so let me just clean this up now to run this git ingest as a docker container let's execute the following command so what you're going to do is docker run and then you say detach mode you know so which runs in the background and then you have the name and then you just write or probably you can also just let's let's don't do detach so you can see i want to show you that how it, how it looks like you know you're going to just do git ingest hyphen hyphen name git ingest and then you just keep the port which was on 8000 it's a fast api thingy so i'm going to run 8000 and then i'm just going to do git ingest that's your image name this image that you see it gives the um you know, basically assign or map that container to a name now let's just run it and see what happens now once you do that you can see it says uvcon running on this port which is like localhost 8000 you know and you can just open it so let me just do let me just open it on localhost 8000 here now you can see i have opened this on localhost 8000 and if you see this screen then you are good so far you know which it, it says git ingest you know it has some um, github blah 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 
uh, it has a chrome extension as well which is newly added so you can also add it as a chrome extension you know it's very simple to add a chrome extension and you start using it and here you can basically add so let me add this repository this repository is from bolt.new which is like a fantastic ai agent build application where you can just create almost anything you want you know like mainly the javascript focused applications that you can create it automatically deploys it and runs everything let me just use that uh, github repository here you know and once i put that github repository i'll i'll just do uh, it is bold.new uh, bold.new now i'll try to see if this works and you can have file size that you can also include you can in, you know improve it and first for example if you don't want to like use this we'll use it in the uh, we'll use it next time once we do this now if you want to probably try first with some some sample like let's try fast api and when you click on ingest and when you click on processing it will take that fast api github repository and basically gives you you know like summary directory structure and files content blah 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 like everything will be a uh, fetched and processed for the, when you are running it for the first time it will take a bit of time but the next time onward it will be a fast right so be a bit patient when you are running it for the first time so you can see it has given you the summary it gives you the repository all the files that it has analyzed and estimated tokens like 2.8 million tokens it gives you the directory structure over here you can find it out the directory structure you know it gives you the file content you can see you can see it says file content crop to 300 characters download full ingest to see more now this is how it makes your file ready you know the ready data ready for the llm if you come scroll down you can find out all the content that you have it over here now when you click on download it will download a txt file over 10 mb size that you see you see it over here right now which is crazy so i'll just uh, minimize all of this right more than 10 mb size of file that it has created now you can take this file and build rag on top of it and so on and so forth probably not the not exactly using the file as it is you have to do a lot of pre-processing when you want to vectorize this data uh or even if you pass this to models like gemini 2.0 1.5 which has a larger context like in millions even though i am not sure that if it gives you better accuracies while building rag so you know you have to be a bit careful about it that if you directly use it i don't recommend using directly you know uh doesn't make sense so let me just open this in visual studio code vs code right now this is how it looks like it has downloaded everything over here you can see now, if you if you also want to try out other repositories, like we wanted to try out bold.new, let's see if this works here. You know, you just click on ingest, it says processing. Takes a bit of time to now you can see it's a bit faster. I told you the first time it took more time. Now it has relatively less tokens uh, when you when you compare this with git ingest, like no, no, sorry, fast API. It has around 70.5k tokens and 129 files have been analyzed and you can also download this so now it's basically it's a simple tool that makes you uh, that gives you a ability and that gives you an ability to basically work with you know this github repository for your gen ai applications you want to build chatbots you know code discovery tools and so on and so forth so this is what i wanted to cover in this video guys git ingest through docker and if you have any question thoughts or feedbacks let me know in the comment box let me also know your views on this tool and if you are using it in, in in any capacity if you like the content please hit the like icon if you haven't subscribed the channel yet please do subscribe the channel guys that motivates me to create more such videos in your future thank you so much for watching see you in the next one